कैन इंसुलिन बी स्टॉप्ड इन टाइवन डायबिटीज इज रिवर्सल और रेमिशन पॉसिबल इन टाइवन डायबिटीज वॉट इज दिस हनीमून फेज ऑफ टाइवन डायबिटीज लेट्स आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन हेर इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ अ सेवन इयर ओल्ड गर्ल शी वॉज रिसेंटली डायग्नोज विथ टाइवन डायबिटीज शी वॉज लूजिंग वेट शी वॉज हैविंग लो एनर्जी लेवल्स शी विजिटेड हर पिडेट्रिशियन हू सस्पेक्टेड इट टू बर टाइवन डायबिटीज विद कीटो एसिडोसिस बिकॉज देर वॉज अ फ्रूटी स्मेल फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑन इन्वेस्टिगेशंस शुगर लेवल्स वर मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड एच बी ए वन सी ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट एट एंड यूरिन कीटोन्स वर पॉजिटिव शी वॉज एडमिटेड इन द हॉस्पिटल एंड आफ्टर फ्यू डेज शी वॉज डिस्चार्ज ऑन बेजल बोलस इंसुलिन डोजेस टोटल डोज वॉज थर्टी यूनिट्स ऑफ इंसुलिन इन अ डे देन शी विजिटेड आवर ओ पी डी हर इंसुलिन बेजल इंसुलिन वॉज एट यूनिट्स एंड रैपिड एक्टिंग इंसुलिन एट यूनिट्स बिफोर ईच मीन्स सो शी वॉज टेकिंग नाउ थर्टी टू यूनिट्स ऑफ इंसुलिन so uh, we uh, corrected her insulin technique she was not taking insulin properly we advised dietary plans for her and also reinforce moderate level of physical activity like cycling we told to give readings every 2 to 3 days and fortunately she was using continuous glucose monitoring sensor so every 2 or 3 days we used to assess her sugar levels and because of proper insulin technique dietary precautions and moderate level of physical activity her sugars start improving so every two or third day we used to decrease her insulin doses and within a month her doses were very minimal like basal insulin was 6 units and bolus insulin was 2 units before each meal after 15 days uh what we see in this pattern of uh, cgms like you can see here in the uh, graph that her sugars start dropping like uh, 50 or 60 and she used to have these episodes of extreme weakness dizziness then we reduced her uh, insulin doses we reduced first her rapidly acting insulin doses and she was on only a uh, bolus dose of 4 units of uh, insulin but still Uh, sugar levels were dropping now uh, read this message so we gave this message 2 months after her diagnosis stop insulin so uh, we follow the uh, this girl for next 1 month and there was no insulin and sugar levels were under control as you can see these multiple graphs of cgms that uh, sugar levels were flat means uh, they were not going low and they were not uh, uh, reaching to a level of beyond more than 200 after 2 months of stopping her insulin gradually her post lunch sugars start creeping up so it went beyond 250 so we introduced insulin of uh, uh, rapid acting insulin of 2 units before the lunch and sugars were almost okay like they were in the range of 160 170 post lunch Uh, after a week then her uh, post dinner sugar levels also started increasing and then we have to uh, introduce the night time insulin rapidly acting insulin two units now with two units of insulin before lunch and two units of uh, uh, rapidly acting insulin before dinner her sugar levels uh, were uh, under control so you can see the graph that sugar levels are under control we used to study the sugar levels every two or three days now the patient is in remission so what exactly is the meaning of remission what is this honeymoon phase of type 1 diabetes so in type 1 diabetes if we look at the pathogenesis main pathogenesis is autoimmune destruction of the beta cells of the pancreas uh, therefore there is a absolute deficiency of insulin so there are four phases of type 1 diabetes the first phase is preclinical phase where antibodies can be uh, detected in the blood second is the uh, phase of over diabetes where patient presents with the uh, symptoms and high sugar levels may can present in uh, ketoacidosis third phase is the phase of remission or we can say a phase honeymoon phase of type 1 diabetes fourth phase is a chronic phase so what exactly is this phase of remission 
so the phase of remission is partial remission when the insulin requirement is less than 0.5 units per kg body weight per day and the hba1c levels are less than 7% or complete remission when there is no insulin requirement and hba1c is less than 7% usually it starts 2 to 3 months after the diagnosis and can on an average persist for 3 to 12 months after the diagnosis of diabetes so what is the mechanism of this uh, better sugar control in honeymoon phase or the remission phase so there are uh, various reasons for it the first reason is there is some sort of immune tolerance to the beta cell antigens so that autoimmune process uh, slows down uh, second is glucose toxicity is reduced with the use of insulin so with the glucose toxicity reduction uh, there can be a beta cell regeneration and improved secretion of insulin from the uh, beta cells third mechanism can be these episodes of diabetes can be precipitated by some prior infection so that is a sort of stress to the body and once infection is over then there can be some sort of beta cell recovery so with these mechanisms the requirement of the insulin is very low in these patients in type 1 diabetes patients so what is the clinical significance of this honeymoon phase of type 1 diabetes clinical significance is patients who achieve partial remission or complete remission they will have better glycemic control later on when their chronic phase start they will have better lipid profile uh, chances of hypoglycemia will be low and fourthly the chances of chronic microvascular complications of diabetes will be less so can we do anything like uh, can we use immunomodulators uh, during this phase in type 1 diabetes so there have been studies and uh, still some studies are going on where there is uh, a role of cd20 antibody rituximab uh, with which uh, we can halt or stop or maybe reduce this process of autoimmunity but the results are yet to come so hopefully if these uh, monoclonal antibodies are successful then uh, we can say elusive reversal of type 1 diabetes can be a possibility in this patient now coming back to our patient uh, we got the hba1c done of uh, our patient uh, uh, hba1c came out to be 6.8 that means the definition of uh, partial remission was there in our patient and uh, we are hoping that this patient uh, should be in remission as long as possible any queries recommendations feedback do write to us thank you